Now, we've been working together for a lot of years now, right? Which is why I am very honored to announce to you that you are an employee of the month. And when you smote his enemies in the front of parts, he put them to a perpetual threat. Moreover, he refused to put them to a perpetual threat. Moreover, he refused to put them to a perpetual threat. And chose me off to try to leave them. But I got to move forward in my life. And chose to try to do that. The love of science is not the same. He built his sanctuary like high palaces, like the earth which he had established forever. He chose David also his servant and took him from the sheep fold. From following the Urus great with Yahweh, he brought him to feed Jacob his people and Israel his inheritance. So he fed them according to the integrity of his heart and guided them by the skillfulness of his hands. Franklin here has been awarded Employee of the Month. You fucking Psalm 79. Man, oh God, the heathen are come into thine inhabitants. Thy holy temple have they defiled. They have laid the Jerusalem on heaps. The dead bodies of thy servants have they given to be meat under the fowls of the heaven. The flesh of thy saints unto the beasts of the earth. Their blood have they shed like water round about Jerusalem, and there was none to bury them. We are become a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and derision to them that are round about us. How long, Lord, will I be angry forever? Shall thy jealousy burn like fire? Pour out thy wrath upon the heathen that have not known thee, and upon the kingdoms that have not called upon thy name. For they have devoured Jacob and laid waste his dwelling place. Oh, remember not against us former iniquities. Let thy tender mercies speedily prevent us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O God of our salvation, for the glory of thy name, and deliver us and purge away our sins for thy name's sake. Wherefore should the heathen say, Where is their God? Let him be known among the heathen in our sight by the revenging of the blood of thy servants, which is shed. Let the sign of the prisoner come before thee. According to the greatness of thy power, preserve thou those that are appointed to die, and render unto our neighbors sevenfold into their bosom their reproach, wherewith they have reproached thee, O Lord. So we, thy people, and sheep of thy pasture will give thee thanks forever. We will show forth thy praise to all generations. Psalm 80. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, thou that leadest Joseph like a flock, thou that dwellest between the cherubims, shine forth. Before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh, stir up thy strength, and come and save us. Turn us again, O God, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long wilt thou be angry against the prayer of thy people? Thou feedest them with the bread of tears, and givest them tears to drink in great measure. Thou makest us a strife unto our neighbors, and our enemies laugh among themselves. Turn us again, O God of hosts, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. Thou hast brought a vine out of Egypt. Thou hast cast out the heathen, and planted it. Thou preparest room before it, and didst cause it to take deep root, and it filled the land. The hills were covered with the shadow of it, and the boughs thereof were like the goodly cedars. She sent out her boughs under the sea, and her branches under the river. Why hast thou then broken down her hedges, so that all they which pass by the way do pluck her? The boar out of the wood doth waste it, and the wild beast of the field doth devour it. Return, we beseech thee, O God of hosts. Look down from heaven, and behold and visit this vine, and the vineyard which thy right hand hath planted, and the branch that thou madest strong for thyself. It is burned with fire, it is cut down, they perish at the rebuke of thy countenance. Let thy hand be upon the man of thy right hand, upon the son of man, who thou madest strong for thyself. So will not we go back from thee, quicken us, and we will call upon thy name. 
Turn us again, O Lord, God of hosts. Cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. Now, what exactly did I do in the past life to deserve your stupid ass? This is routine lick, dog. Chill. Do these bargos look routine? This is shady ass ass. Shit, we in Beth Beachy Beach. We on the wrong Psalm 81. You should know what Sing aloud unto God our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. Take a psalm and bring hither the timbrel, the pleasant harp with the psaltery. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon, in the time appointed on our solemn feast day. For this was a statute for Israel, and a law of the God of Jacob. This he ordained in Joseph for a testimony, when he went out through the land of Egypt. For I heard a language that I understood not. I removed his shoulder from the burden. His hands were delivered from the pot. Thou caught in trouble, and I delivered thee. I answered thee in the secret place of thunder. I proved thee at the waters of Nineveh, Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will testify unto thee, O Israel, that thou wilt hearken unto me. There shall no strange god be in thee, neither shalt thou worship any strange god. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. But my people would not hearken to my voice, and Israel would not of me. So I gave them up unto their own heart's lust, and they walked in their own counsels. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my ways. I should soon have subdued their enemies, and turned my hand against their adversaries. The haters of the Lord should have submitted themselves unto him, but their time should have endured forever. He should have sent them also with the finest of the wheat, and with honey out of the rock should I have satisfied thee. Psalm 82. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judgeth among the gods. How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked, Selah? Defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. I have said, Ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. You know you're the designated. Let's get him, homie. I want to get paid. Pay that worst shit for 25 with a L. We massacred those motherfuckers. Shit. Psalm 83. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace. And be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. And consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom, and the Ishmaelites of Moab, and the Hagarines, Gebal, and Ammon, and Amalek, the Philistines, with the inhabitants of Tar. Assur also is joined with them. They have helped the children of Lot, Selah. Do unto them as unto the Midianites, as to Sisra, as to Jabin, as the brook of Kisan, which perished at Endor. They became as dung for the earth. Make their nobles like old red, and like Zeb, yea, all their princes as Zeba, and as Zalmana, who said, Let us take to ourselves the house of God in possession. O oh my God, make them like a wheel, as the stubble before the wind, as the fire burneth a wood, and as the flame setteth the mountains on fire. So persecute them with thy tempest, and make them afraid with thy storm. Fill their faces with shame, that they may seek thy name, O Lord. Let them be confounded and troubled forever, yea, let them be put to shame and perish 
that men may know that thou, whose name alone is Jehovah, art the Most High over all the earth. Psalm 84. How amiable are thy tabernacles, O Lord of hosts! My soul longeth, yea, even fainteth for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cried out for the living God. Yea, the sparrow hath found a house, and the swallow a nest for herself. For she may lay her young, even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, they will be still praising thee, Selah. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, in whose heart are the ways of them, who passing through the valley of Baca make it a well. The rain also filleth the pools. They go from strength to strength, every one of them in Zion appeareth before God. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Hear, hear, O God of Jacob, Selah. Behold, O God our shield, and look upon the face of thine anointed, for a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, bless is the man that trusteth in thee. Psalm 85. Lord, thou hast been favorable unto thy land. Thou hast brought back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquity of thy people. Thou hast covered all their sins, Selah. Thou hast taken away all thy wrath. Thou hast turned thyself in the fierceness of thine anger. Turn us, O God of our salvation, and cause thine anger toward us to cease. Will thou be angry with us forever? Will thou draw out thine anger to all generations? Will thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? Show us thy mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. I will hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints. But let them not turn again to folly. Surely this salvation is nigh them that fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Yea, the Lord shall give that which is good, and our land shall yield her increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set us 